The sound of slosh and sighs of disgust permeated the DA's office for a second day in a row. Help! Help! Help me! Prosecutors say this is at least the fifth time raw sewage has flooded the building in just the past 14 months. A, s a very strong, pungent smell started coming from down the hall. Officials say an inmate at the jail on the seventh floor stuffed a towel in a toilet, causing the backup on the third floor. Some of the prosecutors, in order to save some of the files that they have and to save some of their uh, belongings, actually had to wade through uh, the sewage water. Some offices were a foot deep in sewage, so attorneys had to stack their files up on top of their desks. Many of these important papers were so damaged that they were unable to bring documents into court today. The spill knocked the DA's computer network offline when water flowed into a server room. 30 people were forced to evacuate the building, including SFPD's entire domestic violence bureau, where sewage seeped down from the DA's office, right next door to a very busy traffic court. Bastion says the Hall of Justice, which houses the jail, courtrooms, and police bureaus, is seismically unsafe and has been plagued over the years by rodent infestations, asbestos, and cockroaches. Our conditions are deplorable and we don't control the building. The landlords, the city's real estate division, or RED, which released this statement. Over the past decade, the city has spent hundreds of thousands of dollars installing new technology to mitigate this type of flooding. However, due to the infrequent usage of this toilet, a sewage grinder had not been installed. Regarding infestations, quote, it would be helpful if the communications staff at the DA's office worked with RED to communicate to their colleagues the importance of not leaving food out in the open for prolonged periods of time. But Bastian says his office is frustrated. Cal OSHA and the Department of Public Health have been notified. In San Francisco, Tara Moriarty, KTVU, Fox 2 News.